and welcome to video 7 in this course how evolutionary culturology achieves consilience the unity of knowledge so this lecture teaches consilience the unity of knowledge firstly we'll ask what is consilience and we'll look at Huell's sense of consilience from 1840 We'll then look at E.O. Wilson's sense of consilience from 1998. And we'll show how Ev Colt achieves both of them. So here's William Huell. In 1840, he published The Philosophy of the Inductive Sciences, in which he talks about a consilience of inductions or a jumping together of thought. And what that means is this. But first, let's talk about where this comes from is the problem of the two cultures, uh, which C.P. Snow, a chemist and uh, novelist, wrote about in his famous book, The Two Cultures and the Scientific Revolution in 1959. The problem is in academia and possibly in industry as well you tend to have people who are either scientists or artists so you have science on the one side and a big wall in the middle and artists or the humanities on the other side uh, there's no reason for that division uh, everything now falls under the purview of science thanks to Ev Colt because we have the same universal units for every domain and three laws evolutionary mechanisms scale levels uh, but this is where the problem originates and cp snow pointed out uh, it was becoming a serious problem that people tended to be very specialized and either knew a lot about science or a lot about the arts and humanities but not both but there's no reason to keep them separated and so william huell's uh, sense of consilience Here's a little excerpt from Elements of Ev Cult. Uh, it says, there's another meaning of the term consilience, namely William Huell's a consilience of inductions when lines of evidence from different domains all point to the same conclusion, as of course Darwin found with biological evolution and see figure 10. So all those different domains biology, ethology, phylogeny, comparative anatomy, zoology, biogeography, paleontology and geology, uh, thanks also to Lyle, all showed how evolution works by natural, artificial, sexual and unconscious selection. And Darwin has a quote from Huell at the front of uh, his 1859 Origin of Species. So that diagram is figure 10, a consilience of inductions when evidence from different domains all point to or converge on the same conclusion. So that's Huell's sense of consilience or a consilience of inductions. And so that's from Elements of Ev Cult, that quote and diagram. And meanwhile, Ed Wilson, in his great book, Consilience, the Unity of Knowledge from 1998, uh, makes the point, although this too is an extract from Elements of Ev Cult. Uh, it says, in 1998, scientist Edward O. Wilson published the visionary book, Consilience, the Unity of Knowledge. In it, he suggested the three great branches of learning, namely science, the social sciences, and the arts humanities, might once again become reunited after diverging in their methods, tools, and goals over the two millennia since Aristotle. And so that's a diagram I've created there showing that where you've got 300 BCE back in Plato and Aristotle's day where all knowledge or all culture, all information was called philosophy or natural philosophy if it tended towards the scientific. Uh, and then things rolled along like that until Francis Bacon, Isaac Newton, etc. in the 1600s in the Age of Enlightenment, the Scientific Revolution, when the three branches separated out into the sciences, the social sciences and the arts humanities. 
And what we have now is the situation down the bottom where they're all reunited again under the umbrella of science um, because F cult provides one single set of units, levels, and mechanisms, evolutionary mechanisms, and laws uh, that apply equally to all domains. So there's no reason for all domains not to become fully scientific or even meta-meta-scientific. So that's Hewell's and Wilson's sense of consilience. And here's a quote from Consilience by Ed Wilson, 1998. He says, the next best approach, I believe, is to search for the basic unit of culture, although no such element has yet been identified. So he's writing this in 1998. Evcult started being published in 2016 in various PhDs and encyclopedias, scientific journals, etc. And so what then, if anything, is the basic unit of culture? That's Ed Wilson's question in 1998. And the answer, of course, is, drum roll, the fractal holon parton from Ev Cult, because these are all units of culture, books, songs, words, phrases, movies, etc., mechanical inventions, scientific instruments, etc., and all of them are structured as fractal holon partons, we now know scientifically, and they also function via the three laws as fractal holon partons, obeying those three laws, the units on the different scale levels. So the unit of culture is the fractal holon parton. And there we have the vertical integration of the sciences, Consilience, the unity of knowledge. As you can see on the right sideways, it says all the units are fractal holon partons. So all the units in all domains. And over on the left, you can see the sciences blend upwards into the social sciences and then the arts. At any rate, they're all scientific now. And that's consilience, the unity of knowledge, thanks to Ev Cult. Recap, what is Ev Cult? A meta-meta science, a single standard universal one-size-fits-all set of scientific units, scale levels, evolutionary mechanisms, and three laws that apply to all domains, even the arts and humanities. So there we have the meta-meta science of Evcult, which applies to everything and thus solves consilience, the unity of knowledge, because you have the same units for all domains. And that means you have your individual scientific disciplines down the bottom from physics, chemistry, astronomy, etc., all the way up to anthropology. And then Evcult turns even the arts and humanities into a science because of the universal units, scale levels, evolutionary mechanisms, and three laws, which are equally applicable to all. And many people know about the individual sciences down the bottom. Some people know about the meta sciences, a level above that, such as system science or information science. Information goes through everything, and everything pretty much is a system in the universe and the universe is made of information energy and matter so these are all meta sciences that can apply to equally to the individual sciences but people often don't know about a meta meta science ev cult which reduces systems and units of culture to their simpler scientific structure the fractal holon parton with its three laws there it is again the fractal whole one part on systems and units are structured and function like that so we can now analyze and synthesize them units of culture that is there's your three laws of fractal whole one part ons. all these units integrate upwards into a larger unit on the scale level above and they law to compete and cooperate laterally or sideways with other units on the same scale level. And they control and command downwards or inwards 
the smaller scale units on the scale level below which are inside them. And we saw how system science has inputs and outputs of systems, but Evcult scientifically reduces the inputs and outputs and the system to their simpler structure, the fractal holon parton. And so we end up with this, both systems and units of culture are structured and function as fractal holon partons. There's some example domains there and in an example system of a person, but could be any kind of system, solar system, or an atom or a molecule. Most people don't know this, that systems and units of culture are fractal holon partons. And all domains in culture, and there's over 50,000 of them, are fractal holon partons. Most people don't know that either. And there's Evcult in six sentences. Again, most people probably don't know that. So good on you for watching this video and educating yourself, getting some science communication as an input. So all nature, all biology and all culture, are, the units are fractal holon partons. There's some examples. And so there's the three laws of all units, integrate upwards, compete and cooperate sideways, command and control downwards. That leads to the Evcult worldview. Very simple, elegant and scientific. And zooming in closer, you are here. You are a system of systems inside more systems, but they all reduce to fractal hole on partons. So, the structure and functioning of nature, biology and culture is the fractal whole on parton. Nice and simple, scientific. Evcult applies to everything, worth mentioning again. Not just the individual sciences, but the meta sciences as well. And so that's how Evcult solves consilience the unity of knowledge in both senses of the term. And don't forget, there are those chat GPT-4 custom instructions for doing Evcult. Put those into your chat GPT-4. And every time you ask it a question, it'll give you the Evcult explanation as well as the basic answer, the generic answer. You also get how the three laws apply. So it just gives a nice scientific understanding of the world. And a scientific world is an ethical world. Ask the ethicizer. And don't forget those other Evcult related GPTs. There's the Evcult Tutor, the Evcult PhD Explainer, another Quote Explainer, some of my digital twins, and the Ethicizer GPT. Lots of GPTs on there to have fun with. On the Evcult blog. So, recapping, this video's taught consilience, the unity of knowledge and how Evcult achieves it. We asked what is consilience and we looked at Huell's sense from 1840 and we looked at Ed Wilson's sense in 1998 and we showed how Evcult achieves both. So, enjoy Evcult. And next lesson preview, we'll look more at the Evcult worldview and compare it to a few other different worldviews and show why this one's better and more scientific, in fact, meta-meta scientific. Thanks for watching. See you in the next lesson.